Something there is that doesn't love a wall, that sends the frozen ground swell under it, and spills the upper boulders in the sun, and makes gaps even two can pass abreast. The work of hunters is another thing. I've come after them and made repair where they have left not one stone on a stone. But they would have the rabbit out of hiding to please the yelping dogs. The gaps, I mean. No one has seen them made or heard them made. But at spring mending time, we find them there. I let my neighbor know beyond the hill, and on a day we meet to walk the line and set the wall between us once again. We keep the wall between us as we go, to each the boulders that have fallen to each. And some are loaves and some so nearly balls we have to use a spell to make them balance. Stay where you are until our backs are turned. We wear our fingers rough with handling them. Oh, just another kind of outdoor game, one on a side. It comes to little more. There where it is we do not need the wall. He is all pine and I am apple orchard. My apple trees will never get across and eat the cones under his pines, I tell him. He only says good fences make good neighbors. Spring is the mischief in me and I wonder if I could put an ocean in his head. Why do they make good neighbors? Isn't it where there are cows? But here there are no cows. Before I built a wall, I'd, I'd ask to know what I was walling in or walling out and to whom I was like to give offense. Something there is that doesn't love a wall, that wants it down. I could say elves to him, but it's not elves exactly, and I'd rather he said it for himself. I see him there, bringing a stone grasp firmly by the top in each hand, like an old stone savage armed. He moves in darkness, as it seems to me, not of woods only in the shade of trees. He will not go behind his father's saying, and he likes having thought of it so well. He says again, good fences make good neighbors. Robert Frost, Mending Wall. Here we are on a Friday afternoon, and here's Turner Farm on North Haven Island, and right in front of you is Shelly Pingree's wall. I thought she was for open borders. Just coming back. I, I talked to my wife. We're not going to... Okay. There's only so much time. But yeah, yeah. listen, do you have a... I understand you have nine beds. Yes. Do you have like a menu of what that would cost? Um, it's all only online. Um, we don't have a, a printout of it. But just check online. Um, and then if you guys are just wanting to explore and stuff, we have this room over here with this little deck. It has a little kitchenette so you can come like off season or during the week when we're actually closed. What's we the typical cost? Any, um, well, for that one, if you come when we're closed, it's $150. Uh, that one, when, we're, when the restaurant's open and stuff, it's, I think, $295, I think. $290. Yeah. How long have you been a manager here? Um, like five years. Have, that's the going rate? Right yes. Yeah. We do have some rooms that are upstairs. There's one that's just above the kitchen. It's um, $185, I believe. And then the one next to it's maybe 165, and then it goes 200, 215, and then up. In, Has in she that. ever been known to 
to give anything free to like veterans or anything like that or um not that i mean i don't yeah. look for handouts but yeah no no or um, a discount we do sometimes um the biggest thing is is like in our crunch season we only have a limited amount of time to like make our budget to you know employ the people that sure. we employ um but like i said if you guys just want to explore the island we always offer that one on nights that the restaurants close you know when the when the, the end cheapest is, is 195. No, that one's 150. 150. Yeah, you just kind of have to cook your own meals, and we open that one up all Monday year Monday through Sunday, doesn't all matter. As long as the restaurant's not open. So after Columbus Day, it'd be Monday through Sunday. But now it would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Nice. Why do you think? Why do you think it's so high? Is that like the the going rate on the island, the 150 bucks? Um, no, I just think it's compet. I don't know. I think it's just competitive. It's. The reason I ask. Yeah. Is you if you understand her political philosophy yeah. um she's for open borders in other words anybody that wants to come in can come in right right there's a cost to that right yeah. but if she was compassionate wouldn't she be giving away the cottage for well, free well i think then you well right but we're also in business so i think that you would have to you would just address it with me and then i would go to to hannah and or to her and a and ask i don't have the authority to do that so i would have to go to them yeah, i'm not here to give yeah. you a hard time i'm just <laughs> i'm kind of ironic that here sh you know she's always talking about open borders and yeah she's a wonderful woman so don't get me wrong she you know i i manage this more or less so she you know we make the pricing and it's but she's also a business person and ob obviously yeah. you could you wouldn't be in business if you're giving stuff away right right but a typical meal would <laughs> cost a couple what 60 bucks uh, it could, yeah. I mean, it's a la carte, so we have things on the menu that start at five, six dollars, and the you know. But the menu on through. online doesn't say exactly how much. No, because the menu changes every day, so we don't. It's just a sample menu. Yeah, um, I probably I don't have a menu printed yet. I'm just waiting to get it from the kitchen. But like I said, prices start at, at five dollars, and and I think the biggest entree is thirty four. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I thank you very much. What's yeah. your first name? Angie. Angie James. Nice thanks for your you. time. Thanks yeah. for. Uh, yeah. Offering us the bikes. Yeah. You course. guys take it easy. You too. Sorry, One of them days, huh? Yeah. Are, you, you wouldn't happen to be the town manager, would you? No. Um, would you be able to speak on his or her behalf? Well, it depends on. I, well, two questions for you. I'm, I was up t uh, today with my wife to visit Turner Farm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't open today, but I, I also got wind that uh, the Pingree residence has been sold. Would you happen to have an idea how much it was it sold for? I don't. Um, won't be here until Monday? Yeah. All right. Um, the other question is, and this is, might seem bizarre to you, but it, it's, it's a question important to me. How, how many refugees or immigrants live on North Haven? Uh, none that I know of. Zero? How, how long have you been working here? In the town office, 11 years. And you've been a resident? For most of my life. Uh, so you would know? Yeah. I mean, Would, why do you think zero refugees or immigrants live on North Haven? Do you think uh, the know, cost? Or? Because we're so out of the way, people don't know about us. I don't know. I'm going to call Monday to see how much that, uh, that's it for me. I'm, I, it's nice to meet you. My name's James, uh, and I'm actually writing a, a column about the representative and was hoping to piece together some, yeah. some puzzle. Uh, puzzle pieces that I've left undone. So. Well, like I said, I couldn't say if I'm 100% sure. Sure. Um, there are people, you know, especially anybody out of my social group, I, you know, I wouldn't think to ask them. But it's not that far from one end of the island to the other. Well, no. And somebody that's lived here all your life, right. you definitely would know. I mean, there's only, and, and there's only two ways into the island, pretty much, a helicopter or ferry, yeah. or a private plane, or boat. Yes, yeah. yeah, by air or by sea. Who would I call to get that information? Would the town manager know it? He is actually quite new. He's only been, um, he, well, he's the town administrator, not the manager, but he's only been on the job for a month and a half, and he's, um, he hasn't been living full time on the islands, and he's only been here that amount of time. I mean, he's um, he's owned a house here for a few years, and he 
boost that relative to you, but you can break it until the death of Joe. All right. Well, maybe you can't speak to this, but one of the first things I, uh, and I can't remember the name of your community center, Waterman's. Waterman's. One of the first things I noticed getting off the ferry is that you celebrate diversity of all sorts. And you, same thing with your, uh, tell me the name of your uh, restaurant, right, in Jason Calder? Calderwood Hall. Calderwood Hall. The same thing there, you serve, and I'm not talking you, I mean that they serve all sorts, all religions. Mm -hmm. And I don't see anybody here, but white people, <laughs> you know? Well, we have a few that are not. We have African Americans, we have um, Latino people, it doesn't, it doesn't mean they're immigrants or refugees. Um, how, many, how many African Americans or Hispanics would you? Um, well, it probably Population is what, 380 something? Yeah. Off. Um, there's one, there's one who's, um, there's a few who have, you know, who are multiracial, multi um, racial. Um, I, you know, I really couldn't say with any authority. All right. Especially if you're doing an article. If I don't know really what I'm talking about, I'd rather not. Ma'am, I thank you for your time. I, I appreciate it. Uh, the, the minutes you've given me and, and the fact that you're cordial. What's your first name? Joette. Joette. My name's James. You take care of yourself. I got to get the ferry.